this one, another specific one. There would be no spiritual warfare. Beautiful souls weren't playing host. Playing host to vibrations, frequencies, and energy. Words. Spelling. Curses. Words. Mm. When it comes to hospitals, church, all these different vibrations, frequencies, and energies. Still love. 111. Mm. Still love, yo. That's, that's, that's the deep end right here. So, it would be no spiritual warfare if beautiful souls weren't playing host. Literally, not in their bodies. Not being their true, authentic self. It's love. Pure love. Breathing and sustaining life. Not sending ripple effects off of your projected illusions low vibrational aspects of what you see fit of another beautiful soul. Being in your God, goddess-like body. Leave it be. Believe. Leave be. Hmm? You stay in your body. You stay true to yourself. You fall right out of it. Like, this is this a little small example. Ooh. You. You. Ooh. You. 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 You acting a little slow. That's not a god or a goddess. Like body. That's a whole energy coming in. And you reacting to tell another beautiful soul a spell of what you see fit to put upon this next beautiful soul that's a curse that's a spell if you're going to do it do it righteously so that way there's no karma being reciprocated back in proper English rewind it though it's fine 333. There would be no spiritual warfare if beautiful souls were not being used by these energies. The last one I put was about doppelgangers versus initiates. That's deep, y'all. When we talking about mama on set, Sekhmet, Bastet, ceremonies, seances, rituals, churches and hospitals. We gathered together and did it together in the means of love to receive. Huh? So, kingdoms of the other worlds to create divine creations. To get downloads and keep getting downloads to keep creating creations for the nations and nations to come. Hmm? Where in that coming about did we take these spells, curses, hexes, ceremonies, and seances? that deal with self-love, mystery school teachings, and the natural components to heal self do with reversing that 
and doing it upon another beautiful soul. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, the doppelgangers versus initiates. That's deep, y'all. That's deep. To be at a frequency, a set, bastet, segment, nefertiti. To be at a frequency where you're initiated, where you're truly initiated at. That's with self-love. That's not with doing spells, curses, and hexes on another beautiful soul. Oh. So now, who have you really summoned? Are we ready to talk about it? No secrets when it comes to the universe. No secrets. Especially when it comes to beautiful souls that are truly here shining light on beautiful souls so they can see their own light. Hmm? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not a game. It is not a game. Who are you truly summoning to be at a frequency of Mama Mott to understand that level of balance? You have to understand a level of purity. There's so many levels of purity. Millions, billions, trillions. Genes and cells within self. Huh? So, with that, oh, yes, I love it. And when you feel your ancestors' presence, hmm? that's deep. When we're talking about Mama Mott, our set. Isis, the genes of Isis. Hmm? Literally being at a frequency of purity. Knowing to humble yourself. Be calm. Be settling. She really wanted me to talk about that. Segment two and best it. It's, it's a lot of beautiful souls calling on these divine goddesses. And literally thinking that's who's coming to them. If you're not doing it, okay, calling on Mama on set to shine light on a beautiful soul. Allow them to see the fruit of life. Hmm? Same goes for Mama Sekhmet, Bastet, Nefertiti. It's at a high frequency. Hmm? It's not at a high frequency. And you're doing it low? They definitely want me to say this. <laughs> it's not who's coming. If it's not purity. And beautiful souls. <laughs> 
That's why the Ra Ten to Sender be so strong to beautiful souls. Beautiful souls out here ain't doing no spells and curses and hexes on nobody. When we doing, baby, we doing for ourselves, for self, self gain, self growth, self worth, self power, self knowing. Hmm? Never met for the culture. Never meant for the people. And the ones that are still doing this, playing host to these vibrations, frequencies, and energies, have nothing to do with Mama Aset. Nothing to do with Mama Sekhmet, Bastet, Nefertiti, Arsenal. We can throw all supreme goddesses of the goddess trails of a high frequency they come running <laughs> how do they come running mm, mm, mm. like I said at the beginning especially ones that bear fruit and don't let it rot give out the fruit that fruit at times when beautiful souls are in darkness and keep allowing the darkness in 24 hours out of the day you still speaking your fruit it shines light a little bit though they still let the energy stay keep coming over and over them so that you shine for oh, okay I've seen it many times many times so it's for beautiful souls to be ready, to literally be ready. Standing up to your shadows. Come on. Join me together. Oh yeah, I just wanted me to talk about that too. We're talking about your shadow. Know your Lilith placements. So that's deep too. That's, that's deep for me too. I love it. Know your Lilith placements, because that's balancing the shadows for beautiful souls that don't know. So I got that message literally a few days ago. Got this message a few days ago to look at my Lilith and <laughs> already in the knowing of the shadow work and the healing and the healing I've done from it. And just alone, this allows me to speak upon these things and help beautiful souls with it. And in that, speaking my truths along this journey, like, the cash records, we can talk about it. We're we going to keep the group 1322. We're talking about this. There would be no spiritual warfare. Beautiful souls weren't playing host. Like, you can say your life and your whole world right now. You know? Do something small like stop copying and pasting people's stuff off YouTube. Hmm? There are no secrets. Though, as pure and loving that I am, I sit calmly and allow my ancestors to continue to work their magic. My job my purpose is to shine light. I work for the universe. I work for love. Oh, oh I gotta say it again. I work for love. Oh, Shay. So, in that, I'm going to keep it brief. And I just wanted to talk about that literally because at the end of the day, there would be no spiritual warfare if beautiful souls weren't playing host to these energies. Flat out. It's never meant for the culture. It didn't come attached to us. So we ain't 
We ain't leaving here with it, and we don't want it. Rotten. Just a... So, that being said, don't leave it at that. I've said it a few times. Quit playing host. Being your true, authentic self is the goal. Is the reward. Y'all already know. We reign.